The most significant new changes uh, for cervical cancer screening are that women who are aged 20 to 29 should have screening only every three years. And women who are over the age of 30 should have that minimum screening every three years. But if they have an addition to their pap smear and HPV test, they can go up to five years without additional screening. In prior years, the adage was that you should have your pap smear every year. And over the years, we have increased that interval. But now it's pretty clear that we should really do much less screening than we have in past. So too much screening uh, has led to too many colposcopies, uh, which are diagnostic procedures that help us to identify precancerous cells. In addition, we've overtreated a lot of women who have viral infections or changes that will go away on their own without becoming cancer. So that's the risk of too much screening. Many of my patients express concern about the fact that the pap smears will not be happening every year and they're worried about missed cancers. Um, however, what we do know is that that interval allows changes that are going to go away um, to go away without unnecessary treatment. In addition, it's important to remember that cervical cancer precursors are there for many years, we believe up to 10 to 15 years before they become cancer. So even if we screen women every three years, we have many chances to find that abnormality before it becomes cancer. The uh, organizations that are issuing the new guidelines are the U.S. Preventative Task Force, the American Cancer Society, and several clinical organizations that support physicians. Um, and in the past, many of these organizations have not agreed, had had different recommendations. Um, but what's great about the set of guidelines that have been issued is they've been issued by three organizations now, and they all match. And um, that should be very reassuring to women. Over the past 25 years, we've accumulated quite a bit of data about what the natural history of this infection is, what we can expect from precursor lesions, and what we found is that many of these are going away without us treating them, so that doing less treatment is actually better. So these guidelines really are only for healthy, normal women. Women who have had a history of HPV, abnormal pap smears or dysplasia, women who have immune systems that are compromised, all those women will have more intensive screening than, the, than is recommended by these guidelines.